It's that time of the year when we take the opportunity to reflect on the year that was. It is hard to believe that 2020 is already coming to a close. It is true what they say, time does fly when you're having fun. And fortunate, we at Gaisuku, we are passionate about what we do. We are constantly innovating, finding ways to improve our existing solutions to meet the needs of this nation, especially the almost 10,000 families that directly depend on us. And, the, and more importantly, the 80,000 citizens who depend on the sugar industry directly and indirectly. This year saw Gaisuko achieving numerous momentous milestones. They say we could only have produced 78,000 metric tons of sugar in 2020. We are producing just under 89,000 metric tons. They say we could not reopen the shuttered sugar estates. We are on schedule to reopening the Rose Hall estate by April 2022, with Enmore and Skeldon to follow soon after. They say we could not move up the value chain, but within weeks of the new administration coming into office, the Enmore packaging plant was up and running, producing packet sugar that is being sold at a much better value than raw bulk sugar. They say we will be hemorrhaging our best and brightest but today, our doors are being pushed down by the young and the talented to enter the industry because they see a future in the sugar belt. Daisuku has now restarted its management training program. And as a celebration point, we have three female production shift managers in training right now to join the factory teams on the estates. Let us be clear. There are major challenges ahead for Gaisuko. But be clear, Guyana, those challenges will be met. So let us reassure this nation, Gaisuko is back and the sugar industry is open for business. Our focus in the new year is to stay the course on reopening the Rose Hall estate first and delivering on the promises of the government. Our focus is to bring back the basics to the agronomical practices on the fields of the sugar estate. But this time, we want to focus more on doing it excellently. 2020 also saw the coming together of the most valuable assets on the sugar belt, its people. Without them, none of this could have happened. And it was pleasing to my mind and all of our minds to see the return of the long service award cer ceremony for those who have served this industry for a long time dedicatedly. The last time we had a long service award was 2014, but we did it in 2020 and it will happen again in 2021. Although there have been many other significant achievements over the year, none of this could have been done without the support of His Excellency President Dr. Irfan Ali and his leadership team, and especially the Honorable Vice President Dr. Bharat Jagdil and the Honorable Minister of Agriculture Mr. Zulfikar Mustafa who have been working seven days a week for the sugar industry. Their vision and hard work helped to break down many doors that were shut on the sugar industry. So in, on behalf of the sugar industry and the sugar belt, I want to say thank you. We are not just days away from 2021, and myself and the team are excited about everything that the coming year has in store for the participants in this industry. Our focus will be increasing productivity, enhancing personal safety in the industry, and moving up the value chain into more sales in the value-added market. The market will now drive this business rather than production. In 2021, it will be about selling in the better markets at a better price and producing sugar at a better productivity rate. On behalf of myself and all of the team at Gaisuku, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our workers, to thank our board of directors, to thank our business partners, to thank all the stakeholders who are helping us, and most importantly, the Guyanese people for their continuous support. 
I want to take this opportunity to wish every one of you a very Merry Christmas and a safe and productive 2021. Thank you.